I know the importance of having a credit card, right? But why is it important for me to have good credit? I mean, I'm about to apply for a home loan. So I'm asking myself, what is a good credit score? Secondly, what do I need to know to pump up my credit score so that I can get access to that loan? Hello everybody, you are tuned into to Off. My name is Neo. And my name is Levi. Today we're actually speaking about how do you actually improve your credit score. It's quite interesting, especially how we put out this information because it's things that we've been through as property investors and how can credit put you at an advantage in your journey. So Neo, what's the first point that you actually have for us on how to actually improve our credit score? First things first is that we need to make sure that we have high credit limits and low debt. What do you mean by that? So I'm basically saying that you should never be in a position whereby your credit is at your credit limit, let's say your accessibility to your credit is at 20,000 and you are owing 20,000. The reason that being is that they will be looking at you that you have spent way more than 30%. Therefore, you are reliant as a credit user, you're totally reliant on this credit card. Rather, make sure that you're using 30% maximum or 40% if you want to push it. In that way, I'll be showing them that I'm not necessarily dependent on this credit card. And it's amazing that especially when you keep it in your 30s and 40s percent, is that that's when you'll be shocked that you'll be getting more calls after six to 12 months that would you like us to increase your credit score? So what lenders want to see is that, are you really dependent on this credit card, right? So now, are you actually spending more than you're actually getting? If you are getting paid 25,000 on a monthly basis and you are actually spending 35,000 on a monthly basis consistently, that basically means that you are actually overspending and you are reliant on this credit card. So now the bank doesn't actually want to see that. The bank wants to see that you are just using your credit card as a luxury. So now let's say you have a credit limit of 10,000 in your bank account. You can only use or you should only use 30% of that, which means that you should only use 3,000 of your money in the particular credit card. Once you start exceeding the 50% mark, the bank starts being on high alert that this person might be actually dependent on this particular credit card of which the bank doesn't actually want. So make sure that you are actually keeping your credit score between the 30% to be on the safe side. Basically, what you can actually do as homework right now <laughs> is that once you start using more than 50% as Lebo mentioned, please look at your credit ratings. That's when you'll actually start seeing that it's actually declining. And once it starts declining, that's when more interest will actually be added to your loans. You'll be shocked that maybe the first time you took a loan for about 100,000 and you had charged X amount of interest. And then now once you've exceeded that 50%, that from the same bank, the interest rating is quite, it's a, it's a bit higher. So you don't want to find yourself in that position, especially as a lender. You always want to find yourself in a position whereby you are handling your credit in a good manner. So let me give us the second point. So now the second point is that make sure that you ask for a debit order from your bank. So now the problem with this is that, man, things happen, <laughs> right? You might be somewhere, right? and you had totally forgot about the things that you need to pay. I mean, looking at us, we have six things to pay on a monthly basis. And now sometimes it does get so hectic that you forget that, what do I actually need to pay? The money is there in the bank. However, you forgot that you needed to actually pay the account. So now once you have a debit order, it relieves the stress that, okay, I know that I need to pay a bank 300 rand at the end of the month so the bank what what the bank will actually do is that they will actually take the 300 and i don't actually need to run around so that at, at least maintains your credit score because now you don't have the stress of going around and actually going to get or going around to pay those payloads i mean look at it even in this way you are saving on money and you're saving on time why am i saying that i do not have to take out my money from bank a and give it to bank b because there are charges linked to that mm -hmm. secondly i do not have to secondly i do not have to go into these two different lines or even three at times that i'm taking out my money from this one 
giving this guy and then also giving this guy at the end of the day i might have spent 30 minutes whereby i could have spent this 30 minutes using it on something else so that's something that you also want to have a look at it with debit it does actually make life very easy so now please give us the third point on why or how to actually improve my credit score it's very important that you know your ratings so now once you know that what is a good rating from a bad rating you are able to start implementing different things you are able to actually improve it because now if i know that i'm at 500 which is below average 500 is below average and i'd like to see myself at around about 700 because that's when i can actually apply that's when i can apply for a home loan what i'll be doing is that i'll be saying okay how about i pay an additional amount to how much i should be paying let's just say for in case i was supposed to be paying 500 so instead i can be paying 700 and then i can be looking at how much is my limit if my limit is at 800 thousand i almost said eight hundred thousand but that is that's okay let me just put it out there to the universe if my limit is eight hundred thousand and i know for sure that i spent seven hundred thousand i need to be working on decreasing that eight hundred thousand to at least hundred thousand and then in that way i know for sure that i'll be getting good credit and a, a, a good credit ratings and then i can further look at my expenses if i see that i'm going out often i'm spending out on food i'm spending credit on transport going to see my my friends i can decrease on that that will have a good influence towards my credit ratings i can stop buying certain labels of clothing and start focusing on increasing my credit score i mean it goes back to the question that to know or it goes back to the statement that to know where you're actually going, you need to know where you actually come from or where you are right now. Yeah. So now if I know that I'm in a situation right now whereby I'm in a bad credit rating, I need to know the reasons why I'm actually at a bad credit rating. It might be that I have actually used above five, uh, 50% and now I need to go or pay down to around 30%, right? That might be the reason why you have a low credit rating. So now know the reasons why you are actually having a, a bad credit rating or know the reasons why you're actually having a good credit rating so that you know that if I can actually improve on these things, then my credit score will actually increase or I will actually be sitting at a better position than I am in right now. Now, do you want to give us the last point that when it comes to credit, how can we work on that? So now the final one that I would actually like to give is that you do not actually want to apply for credit when you need the credit, right? So what do I mean by that? Say, for instance, you look, you're sitting in a situation whereby you want to flip a property or you want to invest in a property. You don't want to start applying for credit when you need the credit because chances are they might not actually give you that amount of money that you're actually looking for. So now credit is something that you actually build through time. So it's mm -hmm. not like right now I have a credit score of my credit score is sitting good however i'm not actually applying for any credit they might actually see me that you know what because you haven't actually applied for any credit we are actually going to start you off at ten thousand and only to find out that if you had actually built your credit <laughs> score you might actually be sitting at one hundred thousand yeah. so that's something to consider that let me start building my credit score right now when I don't need it yeah. so that when I really do need it, it's not really much of a hassle. I mean, I know that on my notifications, I'm getting a credit increase. Make sure that you are always increasing how much you can actually get from the bank so that when you do really need the credit to actually invest, you are on the safe side. No credit is bad credit. Simple as that. No, well, sign out.